In the last episode of, well I guess this is a series now, we have built this kind of cyberpunky convenience store. And cause it was honestly really fun to build, I'm heading straight for a second episode. So today I want to build a cyberpunky apartment. And the building around it as well I guess. Also if you have any suggestions on what I should add to the city, or build in general, comment them down below. Now before we can actually start building what all of you are here for, we kind of have to do the exterior first. <laughs> but don't worry, it won't take that long. And as you can see, I did actually plan out a lot of it beforehand. But yeah, so for this upper bit I'm going for... I, I guess it's kind of like a brutalist exterior. And with brutalist, I just mean that it uses like a lot of like exposed concrete and, <laughs> and sharp edges. And I mean that's not really the definition of brutalism, but, but whatever. I, j I think I just gave the build a pretty... A really big forehead. I think I think we can put like some vents or stuff on this on this later. Then I'll just color these in like concrete colors. And basically that's like the exterior finish. It's very simple but I think it works kind of well honestly. Now to make it look a bit more rundown I'll add in some of these uh, dirty colors. They are, they are like $700 a piece and I'm using three per floor. So I mean I'm spending a fortune to make my build look worse basically. It, it looks way more realistic now. I, I, I'm not sure if realism is really the goal here <laughs> but yeah now it's time to focus on the bottom floor. And well for this bottom part I kind, of, I kind of wanted to contrast a lot with this top part. How I imagine this build kind of came to be was that there was only this bottom part at first and then like developers came in and kind of put this part on top of on top of the building. And while well, the plan now is to have this bottom part feel a little bit more like a kind of traditional Japanese looking building. So there will be like a lot of contrast between between these two buildings. You know, at the bottom we have like traditional architecture and at the top we have like this, well, not very traditional architecture. And well then another contrast would be that, you know, the bottom part look, uses a lot of traditional materials, so like wood, while the top part kind of uses like concrete. I will be adding in some structural support, so it actually does look like this building could hold up this entire block. Also the shop front has been replaced by just like uh, some vending machines. To be honest that's just like a technique to kind of save on plot data. Because honestly right now <laughs> this build takes up 7% 7, 7 of our plot data when we have exactly one build furnished. But, but anyways we actually did not talk about the like apartment itself until now. Be being the well organized person that I am I did not plan anything as of right now but I at least do have some ideas of what I definitely want to add. Definitely some vending machines because obviously these ones aren't enough. What I then kind of want to do is to make the whole apartment feel like it's been well I don't know how to say it but like I want to make the apartment feel kind of like prefabricated so you know I wanted to feel like the entire apartment came out of a factory in like one piece. I think that's the exterior pretty much finished I just have to you know make this bottom far part feel dirty as well. Good news the exterior is uh, finished now down here I just kind of put these lanterns on the roof trim. I think that I think that's what you call it just to like the area up a bit. I still have to do something for these decals. They're probably going to be ads. I'm not I'm not so sure yet. Uh, but speaking of ads, I put one right here and well because I like the spillboard so much I've you know put a second one right here. And also the last thing I've added in these light cubes behind behind these windows to make it look like they are illuminated. But now for the actual build we are going to do an apartment. Honestly speaking, the space is actually bigger than I want it to be. I mean, we I mean we still have to do like a staircase, but this is still very big for what I imagine. I'm going to shrink it down to just this 4x6 square big apartment. I mean, we could just skip the whole staircase part if we just go for like an elevator. The basic one is probably fine. <laughs> that is very rough. How do the other elevators look? I mean, this yeah, okay, this one already looks too nice. They're getting fancier each time. Yeah, that's not <laughs> we'll have to go we'll have to go with uh, with the basic one. I mean it looks a bit weird to have an elevator as your front door, but I do think that there are apartments in real life that have that have this as well. Now this is something I should have thought of beforehand. We actually can't connect any walls right here because I've attached things right here. So let's move these out of the way a bit. And now, and now we can move them back. I don't know why I didn't do the layout first. That that should, that would have been a pretty smart idea. Okay, and now we have to do the same thing with uh, with the windows. And now we have to resize them. Yeah, I, I, I should have done the layout first. It was a stupid decision not to do it like that. But, but yeah, this is basically like the entire layout done. This is, go this is going to be like the living area and everything. And this is going to be the bedroom and this one is going to be the uh, the bathroom. But what I'm, what I'm doing basically is I want the bedroom to kind of feel like, um, you know those 
those uh, Japanese capsule hotels that I, I, th I think I've actually built one in multiple of, of my last projects. This is supposed to kind of resemble that. Next I'll do the bathroom. I have, I have no idea why but sliding doors just feel futuristic for some reason. I guess we can just do something like this to save space. I mean object objectively it's an awful bathroom. But you know we're doing everything to save space. I think I talked about it during me building the exterior. But, but something I definitely want to add in are vending machines. So I'll just kind of steal one from down here. And then over here I want to have kind of like a trash chute. Honestly that has nothing to do with cyberpunk. I just I just thought that that could be kind of handy. These trash cans that came with the fast food update I think are, are probably the closest thing we have to you know trash chutes. I guess this kind of works. We could try having a living room couch over here. That's probably a that's probably a smart idea. But we still have loads of space in here. And I'm kind of running out of things to put into here. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of strapped for ideas right now. Well, I've been thinking about this for like uh, 20 minutes now. Also, by the way, I created these decals. And it has nothing to do with the layout. I just wanted to mention it. But, uh, but I think the best solution we can try is to move the elevator over by a bit. And then have st this wall sticking out. I really have no clue if it's going to work at all. I just, kind of, I just kind of hope that it will. So yeah, if we move this elevator over by a bit. First of all, we will have the problem that, you know, this vending machine is kind of <laughs> in the way and we have to do something like this. That's one of the problems with uh, doing it like this. But if the apartment looks great, I could not care us about the lobby. If we have this sticking out, we can have the vending machine like over here and the trash cans right here. Then I mean we could technically put like a second uh, a second bed right here, but but this apartment is probably too small for that, so maybe I should not do that. We we can we can put like a lounge or something over here. But first I actually want to do something over here. So right now this wall just feels kind of like like a wall, you know? It's it, it's very like basic. And to get back to what I talked about earlier, I want to make it feel like this whole apartment just came out of a factory in like two or three pieces. And well, I want to make the walls kind of uh, reflect that. I, I hope this will work like I wanted to. I mean, this looks all right, I guess. Now this bit, now this bit up here will get a bit more complicated because we, well, we have to build upside down. And as you know, I don't have transform plus, so this will be a bit more complicated than I would want it to be. Okay, so if we if we paint all of this white, I mean, it kind of looks all right. We we probably have to do the entire wall though for it to kind of give give off the effect I wanted to. Right here, we can have like a shelf or something. I, I don't think you can actually store anything on these tiny shelves. But I'm, but I'm pretty sure your convenience wasn't the priority when building this anyway. Now in all honesty, this is not too bad actually. With that, I mean I actually really like how this looks. This is, this is pretty much what I was going for. And I think if I add in some more like vents and stuff, this could probably turn out really well. But before I have a chance to do that, we should probably take care of this area. And let me tell you, I'm not excited about this like at all. I guess we can try having something like a lounge over here again. To make this place feel a bit more interesting, I think we could lower the ceiling a bit over this lounge area. I think that's also been done in some of the apartments in Cyberpunk 2077. I can see why, it does look more interesting now. I finished the uh, storage unit over here. I've also added in a small microwave and I think that's, I th I think that's actually all I did. I've been thinking about a color scheme and while well, you know Cyberpunk is like very, <laughs> very flashy and over the top, so I want to go for a pretty bold uh, color scheme. So what I want to go with is orange combined with pink or purple. Now I know this sounds crazy, but in my head I think these colors could actually look pretty good together. Honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but I really like this combination. Oh, hold on. I'm pretty sure this is the Wario color combination. Oh no, it is. Look, <laughs> that's very unfortunate. Oh my God. And I hate that I pointed that out because I cannot unsee it now. I mean, I will keep the combination because the colors work well together, but I will never be able to look at it in the same light again. But to talk about something different, I still have to decorate these shelves and these ones and these ones. Now the problem is that these shelves are very narrow. I don't think I don't I don't think you'll be able to fit anything on there. Now I don't think we have much stuff we could put into these uh, into these shelves. But the thing is, usually I would just like put books or whatever into these. But honestly, I don't think these will fit well into like a futuristic build. I mean, technically they don't have to be books. We could say that they are like, I don't know, hard drives or whatever. That's probably the excuse I will be going with. Well, it looks like it took me <laughs> like three weeks to finish a one bedroom apartment. 
I'm not sure how I should feel about that. But here it is, all finished up. I think I prefer it over the one we made last episode, though I do prefer the color scheme of this one. Yeah, but anyways, to, to get to our apartment, we first have to go into this kind of lobby area. <laughs> you don't want to be spending your time here, it's very dirty and stuff. So we have to get into the elevator because that's the only way to access the apartment. I honestly don't remember why I did it, why I did it this way. But yeah, this is uh, this is our finished apartment. So uh, over here we have integrated trash cans, very fancy, with custom decals because I have too much free time. <laughs> then over here we have this kind of lounge area. I don't, this is kind of like the kitchen. And then my uh, favorite part by far is uh, this, which is the sleeping area. It's kind of styled like those Japanese capsule hotels. And it looks very like futuristic. Lastly, we have the um, bathroom over here. We have a weird toilet sink combination. And then we have a shower over here. I have to say the window placement is not that great. Uh, but yeah, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the entire apartment already. If you have any other suggestions on what I could put into the city, comment them down below. And well, yeah, that's <laughs> enough from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!